another in our wonderful series of On the Water Anarchy Key West 2009, brought to you by Quantum Sales. And I happen to have a Quantum customer with me here. In fact, wait, hang on a second. Yeah, that's good. Is that better? Nah. <laughs> Travis Weisleader, um, uh, a competitor of mine when I used to race before I actually had to go out and do this shit. Um, but uh, actually a great guy who recently uh, took over as the U.S. class president of Mavis 24. Yes. Travis, welcome to On the Water Anarchy. Thank you. I know you're a fan. Yes. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, today was a holiday, which meant not a lot of people were at their computers. I think we saw, you know, 250 people at any one time. Okay. I think that was the max, but we had right. between 180 and 200 people, which, right. which translates into a lot of people, a lot of hits. Sure. Um, uh, what do you think about that? About you know, we, And we focus, obviously, a lot on the Melgas. Sure. What do you think about that and all those people watching you guys and everybody else? I think it's great. I think uh, the more people we can get watching any of the sport boats, uh, whether it's 32 or the 24 or what soon to be the 20 uh, you know it's just it's just a better way of sailing and you know go fast have fun and you know more people need to get into that and get out of the slower old boats from the 60s and 70s that are just you know time has passed them by or or all right. Well, look. Um, you uh, you took over, I think, at a at a tough time, but at a really good time. Obviously, yep. the economy makes things tough, but um, the upcoming Worlds in Annapolis and sort of the, the emergence of Charleston Race Week is really the sport boat regatta to go to. Yep. These are things that are really good for the class in general and, and for Melgus and for sport boats. Um, what do you think about your job over the next uh, uh, ten months or so? You know, I've been I've been involved in the the class from the executive side for four years now and you know this year should be different and we're doing a bunch of different things we're about to announce uh, the US National Series which will be 30 events over six districts grassroots campaign get more people involved in the in the class um, which I think should be great we're going to announce a new dues structure uh, shortly on being able to again get more people we've got uh, bunch of boats in the U.S. We need to get them more involved and get them going to some of the the more fun events and more press around that Okay, so talk about Charleston Race Week a little bit. Obviously, my hometown. You're not from far away, and, and we love it. I, lo I love Charleston. There's, yeah. no, I mean, any, everybody has to go to Charleston. Charleston is probably the best place to sail in the country. I went to college there, so I'm biased, but uh, I think you You won got, there, didn't you, recently, We, we won Charleston Race Week this past year with uh, Mr. Scott Nixon, Mr. Who's, Scott Nixon, who's standing right there. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Busted. And, uh, and Charleston is a great family place, and I bring my family when we go. We rent a, we rent a house or hotel rooms, and we go to dinner, and we have great things for the kids, and great sailing, and it's just, everybody has to go to Charleston Race Week. I mean, it's the one thing, and I think it's it may take over as the premier race week event for sport boats. Well, I think it's already there, frankly. But um, uh, So today, four, I think four out of the top five boats are Italians at the moment. Yeah, they don't stick. Talk to me about how, how you get, I mean, obviously when, when Terry and Scott came into North Americans, they, they, they certainly took apart uh, Blue Moon and, mm -hmm. um, and those guys and Joe Fly, but, but obviously Uka Uka is, is, is unbelievable yeah. and, and there's no Terry out there, um, which means that basically the Americans are relegated to the back burner. What do, we, what do the Americans have to do? What do you guys have to do to get the level of, of sailing and level of boat handling up to those guys? We just got to keep sailing and, and having fun, and, and you know I think the big thing is, you know, the Italians have set it for the top side, but the bigger story in my mind is the back side, and how guys like Obsession and Convexity and those guys have raised their game over the past three or four years to levels where okay, so Italians are doing well and Terry and Scott are winning, but it's those the the, the cheap seats are no longer the cheap seats. They're really good and they're really fast, and there is no slouches, especially here. I mean, there's what five past world champions. The top. I mean, our goal is to do top 12, and we didn't quite. You know, we're in the teens, and you know, I've been sailing the boat a while. We should be doing a little better, but there's no grinding through. It's like in the past, you could grind through the the, the marshmallows, and there are no marshmallows anymore. So, well, look, we'll probably catch up with you later in the week. We'll see how you do. Always good to see you. Good seeing you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Scotty.